What's up guys, Reaper here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about what I feel is three of the major reasons you need to reevaluate how much marijuana you're smoking, how much cannabis you're consuming. Don't do it. Don't go heavy on a daily basis. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't even smoke on a daily basis if you cannot do it. And I'm going to go over why the three reasons. I was going to come on here and say three reasons why this is fact. I mean, of my opinion, but it's, it's not an opinion when it's facts. And all three things I'm going to tell you are, are facts that I, don't, I feel cannot be disputed. One of them can be disputed, but the other two I don't feel that it can be disputed because there's no, it's just common sense, even though common sense isn't common anymore, but it's common sense. So that's what I want to talk about, as well as I want to say, guys, going forward on on here, I do want to do more motivational videos. Like, this, this I can't, after this video, and what I'm going to say, I can't with... A good conscious put, keep putting out cannabis content over and over and over and over. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I feel personally, now this is something I preach about. Wake up, look in the mirror, take responsibility for shit you've done. Now I 100% know that the majority, that the majority, not not all, but the majority of people that watch these videos right here about cannabis carts, etc. are probably under the age of 25. The majority, not a lot. Not all of them. Not all of them, I didn't mean to say a lot. A lot. That's what I meant to say. Not all of them, though. So, I cannot, in good conscience, come on here and... Even though I try to spot out fakes, the difference in fakes, and this and that, I can't come on here and promote promote it without at least giving a... Uh, without at least giving this warning right here. Like, do not do it. Do not go down the road I went down. Don't have to do the shit I had to do to, to be able to experience marijuana the way it's supposed to be experienced again. And this was this is not like a, a revelation that happened with me a long time ago. I mean, this just recently happened where I was like, man, you're smoking too much, buddy. You're putting too much money on it. You're not getting high even. Like, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing this? And I had to reasonably think with myself, like, why am I doing this? There's, I don't need to smoke this much. Like, there's nothing except that I want to be high to... A reason to do this and that's not a bad reason I mean it's not like you're an alcoholic or anything but it still has negative effects and that's what we're getting into right is and to go to circle this back around I don't want to be doing this cannabis content once every, all the time I'll do one video a week maybe and then the rest of it I'm gonna try to just do motivation shit now will I still smoke in videos yes will I still uh, talk about weed yes will I still talk about weed and motivational shit probably because I feel like in my mind whether it's true or not, in my mind, in my experience, marijuana helped me tremendously. So that will be in my story because it's it's there. But let's get into the reasons why it's this is prolonged use. Daily prolonged use in a big amount can fuck you up. Now let's just not even get into the. We're gonna leave the big, the main reason for the end, which is mental health. The same mental health that you used it, that you may have started using it for, is now working against you. And we'll get into that. But the first two things, number one is tolerance. Your tolerance will be shit. If you just started smoking flour, stick to the flour. Do dabs, rarely. Do edibles, rarely. Do carts, rarely. That is, a, that is a thing. Do not smoke more than you need to. Now, a lot of people, they will come on here... Or not even just come on here in daily life. They wake up, one of the first things they'll do is they'll smoke. That used to be me too. I thought I had to smoke start my day. I used to have to smoke before I exercised, guys. Like, this is before I hit the gym. Before I started anything in the day, I would have to smoke. And then I realized, like, why are you doing this, man? Because it does... I'm going to get into the whole brain usage thing. But just the this part of it and the tolerance. Like I said, I was not there... I was getting to where I couldn't get high. This will happen. Obviously, it will happen. So if you're just starting out or you're thinking about trying cannabis for the first time, do not jump into carts. Do not jump into dabs. It, should you try them eventually? Yes. Don't jump into the best weed ever. Like you don't need to go to thir You don't need to go to t uh, THC percentages. You know, 25 and 30. Your first time smoking. Like try to keep it in like 15 or 10 because a lot of these companies are saying they have 30 percent THC in their shit what I actually did a little bit of research on this and these companies are getting busted for lying about their THC percentages a lot of these companies are proclaiming they have this much THC and their shit is lying and this is getting proven daily 
I mean, this is a huge thing. This is what's going to hamper marijuana, and this is off subject, so let's go back to this subject. Try to get a low amount. Do not just go to dabs. Don't be like, oh yeah, let me dab right now and dab over and over and over. Don't hit a cart all day, every day. I mean, there's no benefit from it other than you are getting high. That's it. So if, you, if you're using marijuana for just a recreational, or if you're using it because you think you need to, right? There's a huge difference. And once a day, maybe twice a day, just a little puff here or there, and then smoke it at the night time so you can help go to sleep. Huge difference in that and starting out your day all day every day smoking and constantly smoking throughout the day. Your tolerance is going to get shot to shit, number one. Number two, think about the amount of money you're spending on this, right? Once you're spending as much money on... on cannabis as you would another drug or you would real life shit and that's your money you work for it i'm not telling you what to do with your money nobody can that's your fucking money but once your eyes wake up and you're like i bought t I, I average two carts a week so that right there is eighty dollars i average two grams of wax a week that right there is eighty dollars if not a hundred i average uh, an eighth of flour a week so that right there is another 40 on top of it and that's not even going into edibles so add that up, how much money that me, that's me personally, is spending on, on cannabis a week. Two carts, two grams of wax, and eight the flour. Not even counting edibles. So the money is a huge factor. A huge factor. It's like, do you want to spend that much money chasing a high that you're not going to be able to get? And the one way you're going to be able to get back to getting high like this is if you cut way the fuck down and rarely get that high? It's... It's, like I said, it's common sense in a world that's not so common sense anymore. Common sense isn't common anymore. Now, those are the two main things. Or not the two main things. Those are, those are the two things that I feel by themselves should justify doing it, right? It's common sense. But now, here's the, here's the other one that I feel is, like, what the fuck? If you prolong, if you use marijuana on a prolonged basis daily, throughout the day... Anything that you're trying to use that for to help is circling around and biting you in the ass. You're using that for anxiety? You're not getting anxiety relief out of that. It's giving you anxiety. You're having uh, depression. You're having a lot of shit mentally in your head. You're using that to try to help you out of it. It's turning right back around and biting you in the ass. It can cause psychosis, prolonged daily uses of it, and huge amounts, especially big percentages. And when you're doing dabs and carts, you're, you're, you're at least getting over 50%, probably. Unless they're just straight out lying to you. I don't know. I don't really know that many places that put out carts and wax that you would go into and buy that's under 50% THC. They're out there, absolutely. I've seen them in dispensaries. I've had friends straight up, you know, show me and be like, hey, and they, they were in the low 40s. But most of this shit is in the highs, right? So you're putting 90% THC into your system constantly, all day, every day. When the flower has like on an average of like 15%. So you're going to go from smoking 15% flower to up to 50% THC. It's going to fuck you up. You're going to get super high and you're going to think, man, I like this. You're going to try to get super high more. And it's just like I said, it just causes a continuous circle of fuckery that you're fucking yourself over. And marijuana is a great thing. Wonderful. I'm a huge advocate of, of marijuana think that in my personal journey, like I've said, I believe that it has helped me heal. But I also had to look at myself in the mirror and realize that it was hurting me too. And this was not, this isn't like this came about a while ago. I mean, this just recently came about to where I woke up one day, realized how much money I was spending. And this is how things come together in my head. It seems like it's when, it, when I first wake up or later than not, I have these ideas come in my head and then I have to force myself to be like, confront myself about it like is this is this what's going on is is there another way or is this it and there's no other way about it i was spending too much money smoking too much it was fucking up my mind whether i want to admit it or not it was making me become lazy that's what i'm trying to prevent become a lazy person i like to try to live my life every day being a, the best person i can be being better than i was yesterday my number one goal in life is to at least be one percent better than i was yesterday and i can't continue doing that when i'm smoking a retarded amount of weed getting lazy, letting that prevent me from going out and doing shit that I need to get done, that's making me put excuses in my head as to why I sh don't need to get shit done. And I'm not saying this for everyone. This is just for me. But I think if you take a huge step back and you can look at yourself in the mirror, 
and actually have that conversation with yourself like am i abusing weed like i know it's and i i don't want to say that because like it's something that I don't want to. I don't want to go there. You do your own research about it. You see what you, you you make your decision on whether you should take a tolerance break or not. This is my promise. So going forward, three days out of the week, I will not smoke more than a couple times a day. One day out of the week, I will not smoke shit. So four days out of the week, I'm taking a tolerance break. One day, I'm not smoking shit. That's my goal going forward. Talk to you guys later. Hope this helps someone. Uh, this is really the only reason I do this shit is to help people. I'm not gonna make money on here. I'm not gonna, you know. It is what it is, but my I feel better when I think I'm helping people. So if, if it's just you that I'm helping, one person that's watching this shit and I'm helping you, thank you for letting me help you.